To bust the myth, A-Clad, one of Australia's most experienced and largest cladding companies, undertook the challenge of providing the industry with real information. In doing four of AS5113 full wall-scale systems tests at the more stringent CSIRO, NATA approved indoor facility. ACLAD's mission was to reassure all Australian building owners in whom have a total of 7.2 million square metres of the proven fire-safe Mitsubishi L Pollock FR on their buildings, including many large hospitals, how it performed in this extreme fire test. ACLAD's attitude to this stringent fire test was to replicate as constructed details and framing material to ensure the four tests truly represented as constructed projects. That is, number one, no cavity barriers were used. Number two, a large 125 millimeter cladding zone. Number three, vertical alloy framing, no horizontal steel framing. Thus the chimney effect could occur, presenting worst case scenario. Last of all, ACLAD insisted on, for the first time on any BS8414 test rig, to incorporate a full window system to truly replicate a fire outbreak of a window. The Grenfell Tower fire in 2017, I believe, was the catalyst for this huge change. There was a huge discussion in Australia around what is an attachment, why have people been allowed to put this kind of cladding on types of buildings that would be high-rise facilities or uh, the type of use where people are sleeping, that kind of thing. Um, and then, in, well, relatively quickly, they brought out the um, 2016 BCA Amendment 1, which looked to change the way to, to actually define what an external wall was so there was no more excuses oh this is an attachment it looked at the whole wall as a complete system and I think from that point on there was no really escaping that okay you really need to have a look at what you are actually putting on these buildings. I think the myths around um, ACPs or aluminium composite panels are that people view them as one item um, it's a bit like saying you know, I drive a, a BMW. You don't really understand what's under the hood, what's in the engine, that kind of thing. So it really is what's actually in that central core that makes the difference as to whether something's combustible, flammable, dangerous or, or not really a risk at all. Because it was 100% polyethylene core, that caused the issue. Now people are assuming all composites are the same as what went on in London. That's not the case. The, the Mitsubishi panel, which has been used here since 1999-2000, um, has, has been a fire retardant core, FR core, um, which is still deemed safe to be used on buildings today. There have been plenty of buildings that have been audited with this product on it that are deemed safe to stay. What happened in London for the, for the, the person on the street who doesn't understand a lot of this is the core of that product is um, highly flammable and that, that's what caused all the issues. So we developed a uh, new product to be more safe uh, for the uh, people living in the residence, uh, working in the offices. So that's why the, uh, our motivation was realized to develop the uh, FR product uh, next to the uh, polyethylene material.